And uh, it's only going to get colder as the night wears on here. So downtown doesn't look bad. It actually looks really beautiful. We live in a wonderful city. Nine, though, is what we're sitting at for a temperature. And that breeze northwest 16 miles an hour. It feels like eight degrees below zero. So frigid out there at the moment. But we've got those dry skies working for us. Some clouds to the east and to the south. We do have a winter storm watch in effect that well going into effect. I should say Friday at six o'clock in the morning. That's going to stick around until Saturday at 6 p.m. Some of us could pick up several inches of snow and you look at the scope of this thing. If you're traveling Friday or Saturday, you're going to want to check those road conditions because they have got even heavier snow potentially upwards towards Minneapolis and even snow potential down through Kansas City and into the panhandle of Texas. So a pretty potent system is going to be headed our way though. But right now it's pretty quiet out there. You look regionally speaking, they got a little bit of snow over the uh, Great Lakes. Uh, that's about it. Look at the cold though already settling into Minneapolis. Six degrees for a high tomorrow. We get 33, 31 for Kansas City and areas to the east tapping into a little bit of that cold too. Green Bay coming in at 14 degrees. So Arctic cold to snow will be the name of the game as we head through uh, Friday here. Starting off 7 a.m. 13 below for a wind chill. Air temperatures hanging out in the single digits and we don't warm up too much, do we? Three degrees for a wind chill at 4 p.m. And that's with a very light breeze going on out there. So tracking out the snow that we've got. Notice Thursday it might be cold, but we have got sunshine for most of the day. Start to work in a little bit of cloud cover from the southwest late into the evening hours. And we start to go into the early morning hours on Friday. And you can see that snow off to the west. It's going to continue to work its way through the state, overtaking most of us by noon. And man, that is going to stick around for a good portion of the day. Got a chance for a little bit of a mix along the southern edge of the state. Heavier snow sticking around into Saturday morning to the north and to the east. And it's going to look a little bit clearer Saturday afternoon, but even with the clear skies, visibility could be very low. We we're talking winds upwards of 35 to 40 mile an hour, miles an hour for gusts and could see a little bit of light icing along with this too as we see some of that snow transition over to rain and freezing rain middle of the day on Friday and then back over to snow. So don't be surprised if you pick up around a tenth of an inch of ice in spots. So how much snow are we going to see? Well, we will see some locations with four to seven inches off to the north. I've got us at three to five through central portions of the state and off to the south potential to around two to three inches. So a wide swath of a lot of snow. Again, if you're traveling Friday or Saturday morning or really most of the day on Saturday because of that wind, keep your eye on the road conditions and uh, the forecast as we get closer because it could be dangerous. 24 the high on Saturday. After that, we plummet nine your high on Sunday and Monday lows below zero.